All right, we are done with the gathering for now. So, let's start back onto the storyline. Huh. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want them. Roswell and Melbourne. That is true. Since they're the center of trade around here. I'll go with that plan. What? What? There's a seam. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. And to spare you the trip of going from here, since you still can't teleport near here, I just decided to sell here beforehand and then just do a nice little turnaround. Hey, saves time. Check it out. Oh. It's not really an island. But Cthulhu! Wow, this doesn't look like a boss battle at all. Oh, that's convenient that you happen to break a piece so just so we can fight you. Alright. This was a sort of a law battle and it actually is gonna be somewhat a little taxing on us. We're fighting the movement aisle. Alright. Pretty much get ready to start hitting all. You definitely want the tentacles to be hit. And actually I would recommend not having Kika in this battle. But hey, why not? I generally recommend somebody who is a long range attacker. Because you can't use melee attacks on this thing, because it's out in the water. But Kika can always be a, a support healer, so that's good. We have two good mages. And of course it has the ink that can put you to sleep. It also can ram the boat, which hits everyone. And when its tentacles light up, after a couple of turns, they will blast the crew for a fair amount of damage. So that's why I'm playing up Play Guardian. That's why I want to take these guys out as quickly as possible. The tentacles have 500 HP, while the main moving aisle has 3,500. So we definitely want to keep on throwing down some damage. Now we could, I could use the combo attack, but I get more damage out of the rune of uh, the rune of punishment. And definitely want to have Gene work on doing direct damage to the moving aisle, while I have everyone else work on hitting the tentacles and him as well. He is pretty resistant to my non elemental, but that's okay. And it has some resistance to light. But not so much to the set. That's okay. We can still make this work. And here's his ramming attack. As you can see, there's like 50 some odd damage, 50 to 70 damage with Clay Guardian up. Yeah, let's do a sword attack combo. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to get those tentacles gone. And we need her to heal up everybody anyway. I also recommend that you actually upgrade your weapon. I kind of didn't, but that's okay. Alright, got the tentacles out of the way. And they will come back after, an, I believe, three or four rounds. So don't dilly-dally. 
This is the time to hit the movement aisle hard and fast. Of course, he also has that attack. Luckily, my clay guardian was up, so they didn't do his, they didn't do like the nearly 150 points of damage it usually does. So we don't want to put that up again, and we're just gonna have Kika do some healing. Right. At least it doesn't do too much damage to me from the blowback. Yeah, Gene's definitely gonna be the one throwing down the most damage in this battle right now. Ah, as I said, yeah, this is why we have Clay Guardian, and this is why I'm putting it back on this round. Because it will keep on doing that. You'll either do this or the ramming attack every round as long as the tentacles are not there. Then we want to make sure Vicky has some HP. Alright. Oh no. And she's asleep, of course. Right. But. Luckily, that cures it. So, we have to be able to get it off that round, but we'll definitely get it off next round, hopefully. And, uh, hmm, that was just having to defend. Definitely get Clay Iron back up before he uses that attack again. Okay, good, he's going for a ram. I can deal with that. Alright, this one. Well, more of the deal. So we keep on hitting hard. Getting low on the resources. But don't worry, I have a good number of... I have a good number of, of mushrooms. I have like four, so I should be good. Uh, yeah, put on her. I think I might have to use it on Lazlo soon. And it's gone. And of course, we always get Ocean Room piece. And then we, and sometimes we do get Silk as well, but we definitely will always get Ocean Room piece from that battle. And now we have to have a Forest Party real quick. Well, it's not really a Forest Party, but. But we're going to need to get some people anyway who are in Melport now. Of course, Ramada joins our company, and we're going to choose the people to join our basic party. Well, all I need to do is switch out one person, so we'll, um, yeah, switch out Kika for Sigurd. On to Milliport. 